Hey guys, it's Brooklyn Goddess K and I am here with a love reading for my water signs. That is my Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. I just want to say welcome to 2021. Sound effects. We made it. This is our first love reading of the year and I cannot wait to delve in it to you guys. Um, I've just finished air signs and I did earth signs already. So it's time for my water signs. Um, uh, for those that are new to my channel, welcome to those that are returning. What's up, goddess family? Uh, the little shmanya spiel is all of my information, my personal information about readings and social media handles. All that good stuff will be in the description below. I will also put the information for my tip jar. So if you're feeling ever so inclined to exchange energy with me, that information is right there for you. As well as I will put any information of any important um, things I feel came up in your reading that you should, you know, definitely take a double check look on. Um, you know, I try to put as much information for you guys to help facilitate your reading in the description below and i will also be putting the link for these fire nails this is my newest uh set of press-ons from gripper sets and i am loving them i am more in love than i thought i would be i'm happy i got these i almost didn't pick them and i'm loving short coffin so this might also be now my go-to nail shape okay so now let's get into it Okay, as I was meditating on your energy, okay, and the number I got for you is five. So you're going through a lot of changes at this time, water signs. And preface, I don't know if you can hear that, but my dog is walking around. So if, you know, you hear noises or you hear the door bust open, that's Venus. She can't help us. Oh, see, I spoke her in. There she is. Hopefully she just comes in and lays down and does not come to bother us. Say hi, mamas. Okay. So hopefully we can get through this reading. <laughs> but your number is five. So a lot of changes at this time. Water signs. I also got the inkling that a lot of you are probably going through breakups or um, just feeling very lonely and left out and discarded in regards to love. And you don't feel secure in love at this time. So that's what I got from the meditation on you guys. I shuffled a bit off camera. We're going to shuffle again some more. I'm also going to leave the information for which decks I'm using in the description below. Um, and all that good stuff. So the deck I, my tarot deck I'm using is the Morgan Gray Tarot. And I'm using the Whisper of Love Angel Oracle. And I'm going to be reading from the guidebook as well. Okay. So let's get into it. Oh, also preface. I am using Rose Quartz and Amethyst to channel the energy for this reading. These are perfect stones to have. I'll put probably a little information about them below. And these are must have in anyone's crystal. Um, crystal uh, art. Uh, I don't know. Archive? Collection. There we go. I think collections are a little archives are from a collection, but we'll get into it. Relax, mamas. Don't start that. Go lay down for me, okay? So. Nope. Can't help you. Go lay down. So. Okay. Your first... And like I said, <laughs> excuse me, you got the page of swords reversed as your overall energy and the four of wands as your um, shadow energy, which just relates back to the sense that I said you guys aren't feeling secure, but you aren't expressing what you need in order to feel supported in your life right now. You also aren't expressing your emotions to anyone at this time, especially in regards to love. You just aren't speaking. That page of swords reverse means that we're we're not even looking around the corner to figure it out. We're not doing nothing. We're just ignoring it completely. Okay, I won't lie. <laughs> I'm a little upset. My press on just fell off. 
<laughs> from rubbing my dog too hard. So please excuse my nail. Now I feel naked. Okay, let me... Can I please have the energy of the Page of Swords? So get the Knight of Cups reversed. Again, further communication. Um, if there is someone at home, especially in regards to your home life, because we will always think love is romantic, but love is in all its forms. Um, you're not talking with someone at home. Okay. Because you feel hurt. All right. You're having anxiety about that. You got this two of pentacles reversed. Your, your brain's in two places at once. Your heart's in two places at once right now. Um, and there's just no love being offered to you. You're feeling very isolated, okay? You need to speak to somebody. Please be very, especially in the winter time, please be very mindful of, um, of feeling very lonely very easily, especially with how dark it gets. Um, please make sure that you're finding someone to confine in. It's very important. See, I spoke her up up uh, bubba okay uh i'm gonna pull a couple confirmations and hopefully we can get through this if not i'll just record it please 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 go sit down please go sit down somewhere okay can i please have okay yeah there's some disappointment. There's disappointment that you're having with someone that you're not addressing with them. That you're not speaking out. That you're not um, letting go of. Okay? Someone's really scorned you. And you're not letting it go. At all. Because your third energy was in Magician Reverse. Which means that um, subconsciously... One of you in this party are wishing ill intent on the other. So please stop. It's not nice. Don't wish anyone's downfall. Um, the fact that your emotions are, you're feeling unheard. You're also not able, like, because you're not feeling understood or heard in regards to love. The other places in your life also aren't, um. They also aren't, oh, my brain. They also aren't, um manifesting i don't want to use manifesting but things aren't transpiring how you wish them you feel like your magic is gone you feel like your mojo is missing you haven't felt like yourself okay i definitely want to recommend a salt bath to get you know to clear that heavy energy off of your body and please have the energy of the knight of cups yeah you need to rest you're not resting. You're not taking time for yourself. You're not creating time for yourself. You've probably been dealing with a lot of insomnia at this time, a lot of up late, a lot of burnout, excessive working. You need to find some type of uh, middle ground in your schedule, okay? For those of you that are at odds with somebody, you guys are both... Um, in your brain about each other you're very like well i want to talk to them but they haven't reached out to me so i'm not talking to them and the person is very much well i'm going to talk to them but they haven't reached out to me so i'm not talking to them um kind of deal with things and stuff okay uh a lot of you are messing with a fire sign a sagittarius okay see if i can get may i please have the energy of the two of pentacles not now v please go lay down okay you're confused about where to put your love or where your love lies please bubba please You could be getting, um, you could have started a relationship with someone new or looking to start a relationship with someone new and someone from your past came back and was like, what's up? Hello. And now, excuse me, they're trying to offer you love, but you're still scorned from that partnership. So you can't even understand why they thought they should come back and offer you anything. Like I thought I told you to leave me alone, but 
you still have emotions for them so you're not mad at the the, the new love proposal from them but you're you're still scorned from what transpired between you two okay please have the energy of the magician okay um the best way to 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 get your mojo back to start exactly to start feeling yourself again is most definitely working on your confidence you got the three of pentacles with the queen of rods so allow your friends to give you a makeover allow your friends to help you pick out some new clothes some new uh some new jewelry a new fragrance a lot of you um, will attract more love in your life or you'll feel a lot lighter the the, the difference in your smell in your essence in your pheromones all that good stuff okay and if you start working on your passion projects shift your focus from love from a relationship to work i know like we usually say don't do that but that love that you're so desperately wanting to pour into uh get poured into you um will benefit um from a a work project okay collaboration with friends okay your friends will help you close out this cycle your friends will help fill that void that you think you need to fill in regards to love romantically can i please have a clarifier for the four of wands yeah reverse the moon get clear on what your emotions are like i said you aren't clear on them you haven't shown forgiveness into this person that you're at odds with if it's a family member a romantic partner a love interest a crush a friend you're at odds with your emotions you aren't clear with how you're feeling you don't even know how to commute like i said you don't know how to communicate how you need to be supported at this time how you need to be loved at this time how you, how your emotions need to be addressed at this time because you you're still holding on to the past let it go i know it's easier said than done but let it go you definitely want to do the salt bath because the salt bath will help to release some of the emotions to wear them off your body a lot of you are wearing this emotional pain on your body okay the second thing is that you definitely probably want to do to write out all your discrepancies all the things that have been bothering you once again, I thought I heard something. All the things that have been bothering you, all of the 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 the, the, the shit you want to say to that person to get off your chest, all the FUs, you need to write it on a piece of paper and burn it. Okay? I'm leaving it at that. You need to write it on a piece of paper and burn it. Let's get into these love oracles. Yeah. Okay. I always find that like the longer I do readings, the the signs that come after the messages are very clearer. I think it's like my brain started up. One second, I just want to pull one or two more clarifiers. I feel like I don't have anything else to say for you guys. Okay, let me ask. Spirit, do you have? Oh no. Uh, uh. Yeah. Recognize what love is being offered to you. Stop focusing on the love that isn't. Stop focusing on the love that's dead. The love that you wish would come back. The relationship that you wish would come back that isn't realize that it's over let it go okay let's get some love oracles okay oh see be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. 40. And you got like this indigo color. So again, your focus at this time is going to be your throat chakra. Open that up. I'm going to leave information in the bottom, in the bottom, in the description about that love chakra. A lot of you also probably are, are naturally very intuitive. Always people say water sounds very intuitive, but you dream a lot or you haven't been dreaming okay it's one in the in between you're getting messages in your dreams you can't decipher them or you're not dreaming at all and um if you ground your energy if you pray before you go to sleep and you ask for some um dreams to be brought to you um you know you'll be able to to get those messages that you need 
but you need to stop focusing on the past you're so in the past it hurts it hurts it's hurting me the energy is very heavy on me you even got venus to come in here and start crying so the energy is heavy on you guys right now so i'm sending my water signs my water placements my love my kisses okay our second thing is the only thing real that is love shift your focus back to love so also i believe earth signs got this so um for my water signs that i'm messing with the earth sign if you want to be a cross watcher you can go watch the earth sign reading okay i'm not going to tell their business but this is also yellow so your second chakra that you need to focus on is your solar plex that confidence like i said rebuilding that confidence changing something about your appearance spicing it up working on a project dedicating your time into something that you can um truly uh feel uh powerful in something that you know you're going to accomplish something that comes to you easy something that you can flex on uh you know people with okay now your number is 40 which reduces to four so getting that foundation set and seven which means spiritual um revelations enlightenment letting go transition processes in the sense of elevation okay take that salt bath let's do 40 okay be in the present and dream of the future when we dream everything is possible avoid dwelling on things that have passed or no longer exist everyone has a past and that has helped to shape who they are this history cannot be erased accept the past and look forward to the future set goals dream big and create by doing this you will eliminate the need to revisit the past having a goal helps you to focus on what is important Setting a goal with a one-year time frame is a simple way to live in the present. What would you like to be doing or achieving this time next year? Make it an attainable task and work on your dream every day. Once you have committed to your goal, you will find you are more easily able to reach it. Work consistently towards your dream and you will make steady progress and achieve it much quicker. A woman sits beneath the nighttime sky. The pyramids and crystal castle behind her represent ideals from the past. The structures refer to the past and the things that brought you to this point. The star in the sky symbolizes the higher power that guides you. Humans are made of the same energy that made the stars. You have a light inside of you. Shine into the darkness and create your dreams. Okay. I also like precursor. I need you guys to also know that my nail fell off because I got water underneath. And when you wear stickies, you have to be mindful of getting your hands wet. I only like to wear stickies with my press-ons. I don't know why I felt the need to mention this, you guys. But my brain is because I just feel like watching it, you guys would be like, her nail really fell off. My nail really fell off. <laughs> but um, I'm sorry to interrupt your reading. But uh, I like to wear stickies with my press-ons so that I can rewear them as many times as I want. Okay, let's get your second card. The only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus back to love. You may have been conditioned to dwell on problems. It is important to remember that true reality is love. Choose to take a deep breath and focus on what is true. Negativity will disappear when you affirm everything is okay because I when I choose love. My apologies. There are many times you can do a shift into a more loving flow. Work at having healthy, encouraging conversations with yourself and others. Squash any negative inner dialogue and notice the positive aspects and people in your life. Be realistic about what is going on in your life. Yes, only love is real, but there is sadness, depression, doubt, and worry and anger. This card is about finding balance in your life so the challenging times are not overwhelming and you are able to remember that love is at the core of everything. The dominant imagery of this card can represent the tree of life rooted in the earth extending towards heaven. While you are having a human experience, it can appear that you are alone. Yet in the heavenly realm, we are all one and love prevails. There are multiple images in the card that symbolize peace, love, and support. Find and meditate on something you are optimistic about. Okay. I'm going to leave it at that. I feel like the water sign reading, and I don't know what it is about me and water signs, but I feel like I channel you guys' energies very easily, especially probably because my third house is in Pisces, that water energy. I just communicate directly to your heart. Um, water signs, it'll get better. It'll lighten it up. 
you just got to shed them layers. And I know it's easier said than done to let go, but I have a lot of faith that you will get through this hump, you will get through these hardships, and you will feel more loved, more protected, more secure in everything that you do, okay? Know that you are deserving of love and open yourself up to receive love, okay? Because you are deserving, like I said. And anyone who doesn't want to give you the love that you are desiring, kick them out. And you can tell them I said so if they want to fight, you know? Okay? Now, as always, much love and abundance, and I will talk to you guys later.